Hey, good morning from Walla Walla, Washington. I'm Don Dyer and I'm working on an old milling machine. Um, back on this old mill, uh, this was out in a scrapyard and nobody wanted it around town here. <laughs> It, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of uh, unique in a way, but I think it's very useful for repair work. You know, it, uh, it uh, can be uh, twisted to many angles. <laughs> and, and it came, this is the uh, uh, dividing head that was with the machine, and it was actually uh, laying on the ground, face down on a chuck, which got ruined. And, uh, but luckily everything was sitting uh, right with that dividing head. It was rusted, but the, the cast iron in these old machines is of a quality. If you do things right, you can get the rust off and preserve the uh, scraping and stuff like on the column there. Well, anyway, this uh, dividing head is lined up. It, it, um, uh, the keys in the, in the base and stuff are true. And I, I'm checking all this out. And I've got this, uh, I picked this up on eBay, this footstock that's, uh, I think it's uh, like a U.S. or before, uh, called news made in Japan it, it, it's good quality it's not as heavy as uh, as uh, original brown and sharp one but it doesn't have to be for what I'm going to use it for and uh, I, I gotta get these uh, the the table keys it has here are uh, too narrow so I, I have to come up with some new ones and I'm just gonna turn some round ones and uh, um, mill that little slot there or that step so it'll slip into here so they'll just be round it'll be fine just for the footstock anyway but i got this uh chuck here mounted and i can uh, probably hold that piece of steel to do that uh, just fine with this and i've got these uh spacers i was making i've got all that done i'm glad i'm done with spacers for a while but one thing i want to point out that uh, i've used over the years and i started with a bridge port and bowling used to use this system it's uh ericsson um um, double angle cause. Let me see if I can extract one. This is a 180 chuck here up to uh, three quarter inch. And I used this in a bridge port for years. And what's inside here is a, a collet chuck extension in a half inch collet. And uh, this uh, we'll go down to, uh, from one quarter to uh, a sixteenth. Then I've got other ones here they can slip into. This uh, got a three eighths mill in it. So what you can do with this is um, get into tight areas, and I use this to repair castings like motorcycle cases. Um, um, hydrostatic transmission cases and stuff like that that were broken. You had to get down and do do work in deep end of things. So I use, and I use these on the jig board too, <laughs> and I also use them on the lathes. But um, here's a, a one eighty chuck here on the spindle of this old brown and sharp. And um, what I can do with that is uh, get into tighter areas than that. That's an ER32. And uh, I've already got this um, call it system, but um, these um, <clears throat> double angle call it's, they um, did away with the mat blowing um, for a lot of, for general stuff anyway, and they, uh, sold these cheap <laughs> surplus so I picked up a lot of extensions and other sets and, and stuff like that from the initial uh, R8 set that I bought. Uh, man that was a long time ago, it was back in the 1980s. But uh, I still use these and 
they they work fine for uh, light work, you know, uh, which is uh, all I do if you're repairing stuff, um, trimming out welded areas or stuff like that, where you're not really hogging, you're kind of hanging on this stuff precariously anyway and trying to get deep into something. I think the Ericsson is uh, still a good way to go. And... They, they can be found pretty cheap, and uh, one thing I noticed is uh, high quality, uh, the highest quality collets are, are cheaper than the, than the um, ER type. You can spend, uh, well, uh, I think 170 bucks per collet for the uh, ER type, and you can find... Uh, high accuracy Ericsson type for considerably less. Anyway, so I thought I'd point that out. That's what I'm uh, using here is uh, what I have been using for a long time. So uh, I'm just uh, uh, adapting this stuff and uh, I think I'll uh, dig up a piece of steel and start making up these things. Okay. Left on that field either. 
Yeah, Micro 100 is a soft grade of carbide. Hey, I really like salvage and metal. It's kind of fun. This uh, piece here has got a lot of chrome in it. And uh, I'm running at 232. Yeah. Uh -huh.